Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll look at unstructured block smoothing. I have an existing unstructured block here. I'm going to select. I am going to go to the grid solve command. And we see down here below our initialize, refine, and release options that we have a iterations entry field. Currently I have 400 in here. The default is 100. And then next to that is a button that's labeled smooth. This smoothing option is actually WCN smoothing or weighted condition number smoothing that's available for unstructured blocks. It focuses primarily on ISO cells unless you set something up specifically in the attributes to change that. Also noted up here in the table, you will see a number of iterations that has been run when you run the smoothing pass on an unstructured block, a value that will be shown for cost angle after the run has been made, and minimum cost values. Those will make a little bit more sense when you see that we have attributes available for those in this smoothing frame at the bottom of the attributes panel or tab in the solve command. The primary option that will warrant changes in this smoothing attributes frame is the cost angle threshold. You can think of this as similar to maximum included angle from our standard diagnostic tools that we have in Pointwise, but it is somewhat different in the way it's calculated. Whereas maximum included angle is generally calculated as the angle between faces with a face normal calculated for each face in a cell, these angles are calculated at the vertices of the cells. And so the calculation is slightly different but it does give you a similar feel for the quality of the cell that you're looking at. So you can adjust this cost angle threshold and it's important to know that the cells that will be smoothed when you click on smooth back here in the solve tab are only those cells which have an angle that's greater than this cost angle threshold. So those cells will be determined at the outset of the smoothing pass. Only those cells are smoothed and then the smoothing ends. So it is a very focused smoothing. Uh, the smoothing is safe for T-Rex layers. So anisotropic cells in a T-Rex block will not be destroyed but can be smoothed using this tool. It's also important to note that on the attributes for this cost angle threshold, if you set that value actually to zero, then you get a special mode for the smoothing operation, which uses the ideal isotropic tetrahedral shape as the target for each cell. So that would be very appropriate for blocks that have only as isotropic uh, cells. And so you wouldn't want to use that when you have T-Rex layers in your block. Once you've set up your attributes that you're interested in, you just simply go and click on smooth and the smoothing routine runs off and performs the smoothing operation since it can possibly and most likely will change the T-Rex final front due to the smoothing. The isotropic portion of your block is initialized again at the end of that smoothing pass. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.